Hello everyone, this is your man Hudman. Welcome back to my channel. This time we are doing a review on the Buzz Lightyear Mirror Burst from Disney figure. This is also a Todd McFarlane um, uh, figures that he has something to do with and everything. Um, I only thing I know about this, it, it does come from um, <clears throat> an online game that you can play online. I didn't play the online game yet, but I will get a chance. I'll check it out and see how how it is. Um, I saw this figure in my local um, Target. That it was original retail price was twenty dollars. Um, but lucky for me, there was marking them down. I got mine for like ten sixty nine and change. So I said, well, I'll give it a shot. I have I did did a review on one of my Buzz Light figures. So um. I thought I would check this one out. This one, to me, more reminds me of a little bit of um, <clears throat> the new Toy Story movie supposed to be coming out. So that's another reason why I, got, I want to get it. I got a little bit more of, a, of a, a gritty feel. It's a much heftier figure that you normally would get. Um, I picked it up. It has a lot. It's got a lot of weight to it and everything. So it does say it comes with um, 22 points of articulation, as you can see right there. From the ages 12 and up. Um, that's in front of the box. Here's the, um, the side of the box right there. And here's the back of the box. All the other type of figures you can get this also in the game. You got this, um, you got um, Mickey Mouse. Um, you got um, Jack Sparrow. I saw the Jack Sparrow figure. It didn't really, it didn't really, really hit me and everything. Um, it seemed like to me you can get two versions of the Jack Sparrow figure. I'm not really sure. Um, here's, you can check it out also on Instagram, um, Facebook, and other um, social media sites. So, I'm going to, um, pause, be right back, and we're going to check out this Buzz Light figure and see what he's all about and see if he reaches up with our expectations. So, don't go nowhere, and if you do, I hope you get a chance to come back and check out the rest of the video. And if you just pop on, just found this in your feed, and if you want to, you can, don't forget to, to subscribe. Leave, leave comments, whatever you want to do. You can give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Um, so I'll be right back. Just check out Bust Like You. All right, guys, we back. We got everything out of the packaging. I messed with it a little bit. I like how it feels. I like how it's, it it um it's articulated. Um, it's that very heavy figure. It got a lot of weight to it. Um, it, it does well, it does deal with a little bit of simile. Now, normally, I always go to the accessories, but I ain't gonna. Fingo dingo around with the accessories, trying to put the um the accessories on. So I show you what you have to do with the semi and what is the accessories. Uh, one thing you do get is this nice um card art right here. You do get that. Pretty much, and at the back of it shows you all of his stats and stuff. You're gonna check out the stats. There's the stats on the back. You got a little bit of information on there. I'm gonna try to get that you so you can see that and turn off the um the extra light so you can. Oh, can you see that? Ooh. There you go. So you can read that right there if you want to. Um, the stand, I thought it does. Is this just a plain um, uh, um, Todd McFarlane stand? It doesn't have nothing on there. It doesn't say DC, uh, I'm assuming um, Disney or Buzz Lightyear. I wish it probably maybe had something on there that indicate what it was. But here we go. So now, the only thing you have to assemble, you have to simply put the wings on. <clears throat> Excuse me. These are a separate piece, and this back piece right here, you have to put this piece on right here. Now, this piece right here is going to be kind of the most difficult part the piece, piece to put on there. So, you're going to give a little bit of force. When you hear that little snap, then you'll know it's on. It'll be nice and even, as you can see. And you see, you see like a little bit of seam right there, but it's not too bad. The only thing that's not missing is the little um, visor that goes over his head, the little dome piece. But I'm just going to imagine it disappears from the back and just flips over <clears throat> when he goes out in space. So those are the only pieces that you have to put on assembly. Um, this arm right here, it will be a little off-center how he's posed in the packaging. So you're going to have to turn around a little bit to straighten up the arm a little bit when you get out of the packaging. Um, so let me show you the details. Um, you do got his nose, uh, his symbol on there, his bus light, light symbol on there. Got the nice lights and mirrors 
uh, licensed sounds on there. Remember, there's uh, some of the bunch like here is that you can push buttons and he does say something, stuff on there, like Bifini and Beyond and stuff like that. You do have those type of things on there. Now, on the um, card art, you see right here, it does have where um, the little lighting on there. It doesn't have that on here, but you still see it. Well, <clears throat> this, this may turn this, this turned on. Maybe it's like I said, when you go out in space, that's like this lights that comes on and you can do whatever you want to do. I love I love the detail of the, um, the head scope. The wings are something when you can see it. I love the details of the head scope right there. I love that. I love that face, that face expression it does have. Um, so let's go to articulation real quick while we still have time. Um, the head does go... It's, mine's just kind of tight within the packaging, but it does go a little bit left and right. Um, up and down is a little bit moving up and down. No attitude. Oh, yeah, it's a little bit of attitude. You got it in the lower neck um, right there. You got the attitude. The um, arms can go pretty much all the way out. I didn't expect it to be out that, that far right there. My arms are a little loose and everything, but I'll probably take like a little bit of glue or something like that to and then when you put it in there, when you, well, I'll, I'll have to show you how that's really done. What, what you do is you put a little bit of um, glue in there. When you put the glue in there, you have to rotate it, let the glue circulate and it gets into the joints. It won't stick it together, but it will give it like a adhesive would make it a little more tighter. So you can get the arms to go up that way. Or you can buy some something they call lock tight or something like that, I think. It's, it, well, you can go online and you just put on there um um I actually figure so I had to I'll 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 find out what exactly what, it, what you had to go under and I'll post it in the under in the description. Um <clears throat> you can't get the gun to go up that far. You can get a a, a nice 90 degree bend no, there's a rotation in our hands. There's a rotation in the hand. They think was you can get that hand to rotate all the way around. Um, you can get. I, I like it really like about this figure is how the nice range of motion is stick of this piece is. You can get the side, side, very well. Forward and back. You can get the legs to go. And about a full split that far out, that far forward, about. Get that knee to bend. Ooh. That knee is tight. Is it? Hold up. Let's see something, guys. My mine's look like it's backwards. Right? It's a ratchet joint. But I can't get this one to move. Oh, there you go. I got it. It's not backwards. It's on a ratchet. You can see how the look if you look real closely, it's a little the little nicks right there. And then it's got like three little ratchets. I actually like that. It gives it more stability. You can get the, that to move. Um, you can get the foot to go about, it's a little stiff, but you can get toe articulation. The foot is not, it's moving a little bit, not too much. It's resisting a little bit because this piece, this plastic piece right here, all around, I really like it. I do. Um, it gives to me per now he's gonna be top heavy. You had to find that sweet spot to try to get him to stand. I even had him on the the um the stand it comes with. He still made him kind of top heavy, but after you find that sweet spot, and he'll stand pretty good on your shelf. So all around, I'm being Nick picky right now. All around, I think it's a good figure. Um, if you can find one, maybe still a couple of those and um. Your local targets that's on sale, um, pick it up, uh, and everything, and um, you you like it. I think you like it. If you if you say if you're trying to fin finish off your Buzz Lightyear collection, and I'm trying to get him to hold his card, his Buzz Lightyear collection, and you probably missed it, didn't like the uh, the prices of some of the other ones, or they didn't have that gritty feel that you wanted, that realism type feel. I think this one will help you to pick pick that nice choice to make you that you're looking for maybe the ones are a little too the old more older ones are a little too pricey or whatever the case can be um but um all right i like the figure it's a it's a it's a nice buy um if you could like i said you could find it uh, under retail price pick it up um i think if you put a nice little wash on there a nice little, little weather effect on there i think it would make it pop even more 
So, hope you enjoy my view on my bus like year figure while I'm finger dingling around with it trying to get into the peg hole. And um, enjoy your collection. Have a great safe day. And if you're off today, like I was, I finally got two days off because technically I was scheduled for the day off and yesterday we was closed. So, I'm going to enjoy it. So, everybody have a good day, good night. And um, be safe out there. Enjoy your collection. And the Hardy Man's out. Thank you for watching.